Oh, God, really? Bean boozled? You know, somebody was paid to write that, like somebody in a cubicle somewhere. And it's not a bad job. It's a good job, you know? And it's a good pun, you know? Because they're sitting there thinking, jelly beans, jelly beans. I've got to figure out a way to bamboozle people into buying my jelly beans. Bean boozled! Kind of geniuses, actually. All right, back in Malibu. Had a great time at the concert. Wait, no, no, no. I did attend the Kindnesses concert in Malibu. Yes, at the Malibu Amphitheater. I attended the Kindnesses concert. What is this? Oh, John Anderson's there. Who's John Anderson? <laughs> oh, he's my other love interest. I'm so happy you called me. Uh, I'm glad to see you. Um, you look fantastic for our date. Whoa, I didn't know we were on a date. I thought I was just going to see the Kindness concert. Things just got out of hand really, really fast. Whoa, are you trying to impress me? It's working. Well, so I haven't spoken. So uh, all, all I've said so far is thanks. Uh, you're all that and more. Well, geez, once again, thanks. This seems a little, uh, uh, quite, quite a high compliment given that I've, um, what is, what's going on over here? What's, oh, oh, divulge secret. I don't, unfortunately, I don't have enough energy to divulge a secret. <laughs> Uh, I would love to try playful trolling or divulge secret as well as, and God knows I'd like to try look at the stars. Look at the stars is an old favorite of mine, but I only have the one energy. I can't even have Italian soda. Okay. I love what you're wearing for our date. You are a terribly uninteresting person. <laughs> I mean, just talk about yourself a little bit. Tell me something about you. Well, that's, that's, that's not about me. Uh, okay, let's see. Kiss, kiss! Well, that would be fun, but I, I have to wait two minutes and 48 seconds to get more energy for a kiss, so uh, just let me s sit here and stare at my phone for the next two minutes and 30 seconds. Wait, could I get, could I get it this way? Uh, wait for, wait for text from Perry. Uh, complete party at Kendall's condo in Beverly Hills. I, I, I did that. I attended the Kindnesses concert at the Malibu Amphitheater. You might remember I rushed the stage. Uh, I spent all of my uh, energy foolishly uh, just doing a bunch of random things instead of saving it so that I could kiss John. What is this? Oh, no, I'm good. I don't need, I don't want, I don't want to, I like my outfit. Um, I feel like it's the right level of, you know, I just feel, I feel like it's communicating what I want to communicate. Uh, I have to leave this date because I'm bored. It, it's nothing personal. You seem like a nice person, but I'm going to go in here and see if Kendall and Kylie are home. Hi, Kendall and Kylie. It's me, Loretta, from the salon who you've never met before or you met once. It was brief, but you remember me. I snuck into your beach house. Do you want to hang out? Anybody? Anybody? It's me, Loretta. Remember? We were at a party together? That's why I'm waving. It's me. All right. I guess they're not home. Oh, minigame loading. Uh, that's what friends are for. This is an advertisement. It was I. It was not a mini game. It was an advertisement. So excited. I thought I might be able to get some uh, energy. Back at the Kindnesses concert. Uh-huh. It's still happening. Uh-huh. Friend. Oh, no. I still don't have any friends. M Meredith, what do I do at this point? Should I just post another selfie? Bragging about my new apartment? I don't want to try on pack sun clothes. You know? I feel like... Is this the game? It's just... It's way too much like life. It involves a lot of, like, feeling socially awkward and waiting. That was the things that I liked least about uh, about my, my, my dating years, which is just that I would always feel like I didn't know what to say to anyone, and I was never quite sure that I was supposed to be in the place where I was finding myself. 
The Kendall and Kylie iPhone game is essentially just my opportunity to relive what it felt like to have a crush in eighth grade. And it felt horrible. Thank you. Thank you for your compliment about the outfit, though, John. It means a lot to me. You're a very thoughtful complimenter. So far, you've complimented my outfit and what I'm wearing. And I like the fact that you were able to approach that complicated topic kind of in two vastly different ways. I'm about to get more energy, Meredith. Oh, no. I didn't, it's just two, it's just two. So I still can't divulge secret or playfully troll. And I can't look at the stars, but I can coconut water. So I'm going to. Oh man, would you like to enjoy some coconut water with me? We're on, that, that's how we know we're on a date. You look lovely for our date. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Automaton. Oh man, it's like Marco Rubio talking about Barack Obama knowing exactly what he's doing. <laughs> so awkward. This is really what it was like to go on dates in seventh grade, including I didn't have enough money to people watch. <laughs> Poor John, he's trying, you know, but to be fair, I'm not giving him anything back no matter what he says. All I say is thanks and then pull out my phone. It's a disaster. He needs, he's, he's, I, what I, and then I'm just like more lipstick. I do like my lipstick color off the record. Um, I think, I mean, that's a slight tangent, but I just, I feel like I'm not giving John what he needs to succeed in this date. And so all he has is you're all that and more, which is a not, it's a nice thing to say. It's a little bit weird to say about a virtual stranger, but you know, he's just, he's in a bad position because I'm not working with him enough. And as you can see, I only have one, uh, I only have one heart. Uh, or half a heart. So the date obviously isn't going well. I only have 54 minutes left in that date. And it's going to take me another three minutes before I even have half of the energy to enjoy a coconut water with him. So I think I've found myself in a situation where I essentially have to pay to move forward in the game, which is, uh, I, I think maybe it was because I was too, uh, too enthusiastic about the Kindnesses concert running on stage, losing all of my energy. But I am uh, v very concerned that I cannot move forward in this game without paying because that's one of my big pet peeves with iPhone games. Uh, I like to be able to win via brute force. Oh man, I'm only one star away from uh, having completed the Kindnesses concert. I don't, I really don't want to try on those items. I don't, maybe there's something here. No. Oh, I have a new achievement. Dating. We're a casual couple. Video. Uh, I don't have very many five-star ratings. Gourmand. Not very much of a gourmand. I'm not the center of attention, although it's good to know that that's one of the reasons to, one of the things to celebrate. I'm not an extrovert, although again, it's good to know that that's one of the things the game is celebrating. I have failed to make it rain by uh, not showing an ability to uh, make cash rule everything around me. And uh, I have had a disastrous series of dates so far. I'm not popular or stylish, and I don't work, nor am I athletic. This is getting too close, too close to my real self, Meredith. I'm not having fun. I'm going to have to turn it off for a while, let myself recover some energy, and I will visit you next time uh, here in the fascinating world of Malibu, where Loretta continues to desperately, heroically try to make her way through despite lacking the energy to people watch. Thank you for watching. Best wishes.